Hello everybody, today we have Dell Inspiron 15 3525 model. It's a AMD Ryzen 7. So we'll take it apart, we'll see what we can replace, fix or upgrade. Let's start. Let's start with bottom screws. Right. Now let's separate the bottom case. So find the gap in between bottom case and the palm rest and work your way around the edge to unhook all the clips. Right. Our bottom is out. Here we have the part number. So now let's disconnect the battery so we don't cause any short. Now let's take out all, I do, I'm disconnecting the caddy, the hard drive, because the cable goes over the battery. So let's take out all the screws for the battery. And this is how we can take it out. So if the battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. That's the type number. Here we have the part number. Here we have our RAM memory. So if you spread those arms, then you can take out the memory. You can replace it or upgrade it to the bigger one. These are DDR4. Here we have the Wi-Fi card. So if your Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace the card. Unscrew this one screw and disconnect the antenna wires. Now we can take out the card. Here we have part number, model number. Now let's see our storage. So under that cover, there is our SSD drive. So unscrew one screw, take out the cover. That's our drive, that's the NVMe drive. You can replace it or upgrade to the bigger one. Now let's take care of the heatsink. If your cooling doesn't work, laptop is overheating or fan doesn't spin or makes grinding noise, then replace this part. So after we take out all the screws, disconnect the fan from the motherboard. Now we can take out the fan. Here we have our part number. Now we can take out the heat sink. Don't bend it, be very careful, because if you bend it, it won't work anymore. So here, here we have the part number. So now, let's disconnect all the cables from the motherboard and take out all the screws. We are pulling out the motherboard. So let's disconnect the keyboard, touchpad. Here we have our speaker, our I.O. board. That's our video cable for the screen. Okay. Now take out all the screws. Take out also screws for the hinge because the hinge goes over the motherboard. So.
I'm gonna take out the screws for the other hinge because it covers our I.O. board, which we would like to pull out. Okay, now we can unfold the hinge so we can have access to the board. So that's our I.O. board. You can replace it. If your port doesn't work, audio or the USB port, you can replace this port. That's the part number. It has also the card reader on it. Now let's take out the motherboard. So the processor is soldered on the motherboard. That's our part number. Here we have the part number as well. Now we have access to our DC power jack. So if your laptop isn't getting the power or the jack is broken, you can replace it. Here we have that part number. Now we have access also to our speakers. You can replace them if your sound is bad. So that's our speaker set. Here we have the part number. Let's take out the, that's our caddy and the connector for the additional hard drive. If you would like to add additional storage, this is where you put it in. So you mount the drive inside the caddy using these screws on the side. And then you connect the drive with this SATA connector to the motherboard. Okay, now we are pulling out our palm rest keyboard assembly. So the touchpad we could replace taking out these screws. Keyboard is riveted to the mother to the palm rest, so you cannot replace it. You have to buy the whole part. This is how it's usually sold in one piece. If you are looking for parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. So here we have access to our screen. The screen is cracked, so let's take it apart. Take off the front bezel. Those are our hinge covers. Okay, that's our front bezel. Here we have part number. Now, once hinge was broken off from the back cover, let's take out the other hinge. So these are our hinges. Now we can take out the LCD to show you how this is mounted. Here we have the pull tabs for the adhesive, so I don't know why the other side wasn't connected, but this one is. So let's pull out the tab. Don't break it or part of it will stay and we'll have trouble to take out the screen. So now it goes out. 
here we have the video cable so we can disconnect it from our screen flip this retaining clip and now we can slide out the connector so yeah that that screen was cracked so that's a part of the hinge that rail so part of the mount for the screen so let's take out this adhesive from that side So that part should stay with the back cover. In this case, it's broken. That's our screen model number. And here we can take out the video cable because we have to replace the back cover. And the video cable comes with the webcam. Very fragile, so don't break it. So that's our video cable with the webcam. So we have the part number. Okay, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.